graffiti vandalism or art. Graffiti art, if like, if someone gives the permission to fire to do it and the other one is like, if you don't get permission and you're just going along doing it on somebody else's property. Well, if it's not allowed, it would be vandalism. If somebody doesn't want it on the wall or something. Yeah, you can get permission. Like, you have to get permission or else it's illegal. Um, maybe like when somebody, when they draw a nice picture of graffiti, it's not, it's maybe art. Then when people just draw something, do something random, just to, just to do it. Like I think you should only do like graffiti if you got asked to do it, like for someone. Graffiti is, is good, but like if it, it's vandalism if you do on houses or anybody's property. good to know the difference between um, vandalism and art like well if you really if you really concentrate on uh, when someone explains it you can understand it quickly well I think graffiti is really bad unless someone tells you to do it or it's your own property that you're graffitiing graffiti is like like vandalism graffiti would be like writing your name on a lamppost or something to say like anto or something on a lamppost then like you could have street art which would actually be something really nice on a huge wall like huge flowers or something. Vandalism is just it doesn't look nice and it just makes the area look bad and then other graffiti can be art so it, it could be on a graffiti wall and that might make it really look nice. It's because you kind of can see because like there's no colour in it and like running around like walls of estates and lampposts and traffic lights and um, like names mm. which no one would really care about but if you had like nice designs like under bridges where people actually ask them to do it it would be nicer yeah 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 that's it but not like if you're just going around walking around and spraying things on the wall that you're not supposed to be that's vandalism and it's not really art yeah, uh, when it's art, it's like when from like painters, like inspiration for painters, because sometimes graffiti is. But uh, graffiti is also vandalism, with like bad lads trying to wreck stuff and all. That's graffiti for vandalism. Yeah, like good graffiti could be like a nice picture, but bad graffiti is just kind of like trying to write their name and like bubble writing or something. Yeah, because people could just um, like do random designs that only kind of they understand like signatures and squiggles or like other people can do nice designs of lots of colour and it makes the place look nicer like if the place was bare they could just like it would look better if they put a colourful design on than if they just put a, a like an ugly tag with a name on it actual street art where you make something really beautiful out of it not just name on a lamppost or in the playground or something the good stuff like we were looking through books and all the good stuff was like all the art and all the bad stuff like just writing quickly and like getting out of there and illegal stuff that was like vandalism but like we're doing some of the art stuff. Well, I think good graffiti is like so people would like the area but bad graffiti is just trying to get them to like know that like they're here and like tag their names and draw pictures and but they're not very nice. Yeah, like um, good stuff and like, you know, let out what they want to do and stuff in the graffiti and it would be like really cool. No, I only, I didn't really know it that way. I just knew that graffiti is kind of like art that you draw on walls and people don't really like it and it's usually just teenagers that do it. Yeah. So like if you're doing the wrong thing you won't say ah, it's just art and that's like your excuse. So it's good to know the difference. To so like if they feel like they're out place they could do graffiti and they think that they might get more friends, they actually don't. Yeah. I'm going to mark a something on the wall as a bus. What are you doing? We're gonna get caught! No, we won't! That's the buzz! We won't get caught! We never get caught! I think they know what they're doing. Uh, doing graffiti and wrecking the place. I'm in on my own again tonight, Tony. No bingo, because of bands.
Yeah, because if you're being told not to do something, you just it makes you want to do it more. Like, my mad told me not to do something, I'd think maybe I'll do it just to annoy her or something. But you wouldn't be thinking about the reason why not. You'd just be thinking, yeah, I'm just going to do it to annoy her. Same with teachers, especially teachers, I'd say. Young people won't listen to their teachers or maybe not even the parents. When Maybe when they're a lot younger, like seven or eight, they might listen to their parents, but hitting teenage years, they won't to stop listening. I think down in down deep down inside them there might be some art like graffiti art in there, but I think they're just messing. I think they're thinking they're doing graffiti, but they're not. They think it's all mad the way they can go around and write on walls. But the people that do the tags just kind of want to be known. They just do it so they think not. They want they won't get caught or. I think they're just thinking for their like. We're not going to get caught. We can just do this. It doesn't matter. No, I think if someone did it, they're probably like a horse or something that they're just trying to get over some. Just the self-expression, so... And they want to look cool, they, or they just get pressured from their friends. Peer pressure, yeah, loads of times people do because they might like feel out of place and, uh, because their friends would be all doing it and their friends would be calling them kickings and all, so eventually they down up so their friends would leave them alone, but their friends won't leave them alone, because once you do it once, your friends will keep on, well they're not actually your friends, they'll keep on doing it because they know that you'll keep on doing it. You should not let um, friends uh, influence you in the wrong way and you have to choose your, the right company. It just looks like, just looks kind of dirty and like walls and buildings and all, like just try to keep the place clean and it just doesn't look nice. It affects communities because it takes all their work to clean it up and they haven't got time and it just really nasty and people don't want to go anywhere and they're afraid and all and if they're trying to go to the library and there's graffiti and littering everywhere that's not a safe environment and they shouldn't go i don't think it's good for the community like because if a, a child walks by and they say it they're like oh yeah that looks fun i want to do that so they'll copy it i think it would be bad if the little kids saw their brother doing loads of graffiti then they'll pick it up and then uh, if they had a little brother they'd pick it up as well. If it's a nice place and they see like loads of graffiti they might stop going because it makes the place look dirty and um, maybe rough. Some old people might be living for ages and it probably wasn't graffiti back then but it is now and maybe they don't like it. Don't just spray paint other because other people like get like hurt over like because they don't want somebody to be drawing all over their property because it makes the area look bad because like you don't really want to go out in it because like it looks kind of dirty and... it's because that it shows that the area is kind of it doesn't have nice people there that there's people that walk around with spray paint and yeah. well it shows that the atmosphere there isn't the best it's just not right for people to do that. And it's not their property to be spraying things on the wall. It's just ruining the community and it probably makes them feel that some other people don't care and some other people are there longer. And they just want the area to look nicer. Because like, there's like an alleys and there's graffiti in the alleys and there's graffiti on sometimes houses and so it's not very really nice. I think they'll never go out and they'll just uh, stay in their house. They just won't go out and play soccer because there's loads of rubbish on the ground and the library is covered with graffiti that no one wants to see. Well, if you're going across the bridge or if you're like about to walk across the bridge, you can usually see graffiti and that, that kind of puts off you. Because if you're walking across the bridge and you see graffiti, then you think maybe this isn't the area I should have went to and you might turn back and leave. Well, like, I think people might have heard of it and they might never want to go there. 
even if like it's new, uh, new, uh, like garden or something. Oh, they don't realize how much, uh, how much accidents or how much uh, troubles it causes. Like, don't do, don't spray paint, cause when you think about it, you shouldn't do that, cause other people have to clean up after you, and that's hard work as well. If the police catches them, they have to pay. Usually just one little word might cost 500 euro. No, I didn't. I was surprised when I heard that you have to pay that much. I think that's a lot of money to just find. I would say 200, but not 500. That's a bit much. Well, if they thought that the fine was 500 euro, they'd cop on. And now I can't afford 500 euro. Stop doing it. Yeah, I had no clue about the fine and I had no clue. I had a slight idea about that you had to go up clean all your tagging up, but I didn't know that you had to do community service as well. Yeah, well, my idea was to get a graffiti wall. They should have those places as well to say, oh, you can um, go there and do your graffiti and whatever. Like, instead of just going like, oh, don't do graffiti. Yeah, it would actually be good if that was like, like if you had like one zone of the city where you could do all your graffiti and everything, then the other zone just keep it clean. So people can go in there and graffiti on the wall instead of graffitiing out in public and, and like ruining our area. Like, you'd preoccupy all the kids around you so they wouldn't be going out and doing on walls and everything, just writing their names. Yeah, I think graffiti wall is a good idea and then it's a bad idea because it is a good idea because they might not be doing it in the area then, but then it's a bad idea because it's making them keep doing graffiti when they could just stop. No, I think that would be encouraging them to do graffiti okay. because it's just a wall that they can graffiti that's not theirs and then they'll think they can do it anywhere. Uh, well, I think a graffiti wall would be bad for the area because, like, the if it would just be, like, loads of bad graffiti in a certain place, and I don't think people would like the idea of that because, like, it's bad graffiti. Why should we let... Why should we be letting the groups set up more well? And they might not even come to it because then the they'd know that... Now everyone else knows that they've been doing the bad graffiti and they'd, like, catch them, so they probably wouldn't even go to it. Um, it might be um, better the way um, like less kids will be doing vandalism then like they'd have places to do it like properly and like legally and they, they know they can do it there and like it would be fun for them. If you could like you could plan for stuff like in libraries or in skills and places like skate parks and all. Yeah I think people can change like like if, if they think that someone cares about them. Yeah, like, I think there should be something like where like, you can, like I think the library should set up more often, like where they can do it again and stuff. Like if they did in every library around the Dublin area, it'd be very good. Like it would probably stop more of the graffiti vandalism. Well, you could like make this kind of these kind of graffiti club, and then like teenagers go there and will kind of occupy them and. That's, I think they should have cameras to know who graffitied where. Well, I think uh, if you see someone doing graffiti and you don't want it there, uh, you should get someone older than him and tell him you have to clean that up and scrub it down. I, I don't know if there's anyone really responsible, but like, if there's graffiti near your area, you could get together with someone else and you could like raise money and then buy some paint and then paint over it or wash it off with like a power wash if everyone has one. And well, we were thinking of writing a letter to the community to say that that we, as in St. Pat's, don't like that there's graffiti everywhere and so we want you to come over and do something about it. Okay. Yeah, I think we should like every once, uh, twice a year, like we could wash it or something, the walls. And then the graffitiists might not like to do it anymore because they know that they're just gonna wash it off and there's no real point. We could like uh, nominate people from the community to do it. We could raise money from volunteers, like doing a uh, walk or something. 
Well, I think that we could like improve the park by having more things to do. So like maybe more seats beside the river and like take some of the litter out of the river and more flowers on the other side of the river. Yeah, because like they know that like there's loads of people in there and you know. And like the people who are doing graffiti might know that like they might realise that then graffiti is a bad thing. Uh, that uh, maybe if we do get more seats in the park, that we should. That maybe if there was graffiti every month or two, we could paint over it. So it's like there's lots of the pe- lots of people in the community that don't like the graffiti, and if they all got together, there might be lots of people to do it, and then we could paint over it and put up loads of banners. And they they wouldn't like that then, and they might stop graffiti. I say if they came to this class, they'd start, if they were down, I think if they came and got up, I. Like, the woman, I think they'd stop doing it completely because, like, it's inspiring the way that she taught us, like, 